That's how you create this effect using DaVinci Resolve. Start by taking some screenshots and adding them to your timeline. Make the duration really short to keep the pacing fast. I want a crumpled paper effect, so I'll add a crumpled paper overlay above the screenshots. Change the composite mode until you get something you like. You could do this in Fusion as well, but if you're not yet comfortable working with notes, this method will do the trick. Tweak the opacity and now let's land the screenshots. I create a kind of mask using the solid color layer from the generators in the toolbox. Make it smaller, place it above the word you want to keep fixed and adjust the opacity. Then resize it until it matches the exact size of your fixed word. Resize and align the remaining screenshots to fit perfectly inside this shape. And once your word is fixed, you can remove this layer. Now we're moving to the Fusion tab. Select all the clips and turn them into a Fusion composition. In the Fusion tab, you'll see that the node structure has been automatically created. However, our overlay looks a bit messy. To fix this, go to the merge node of the last input containing the crumpled paper and restore the apply mode to what we had originally. Next, it's time to highlight the text. You'll want to add a highlighter before crumpling the paper, so the corresponding notes need to go in front of the crumpling notes. You'll need a background and a merge note and connect them between the screenshots and the crumpled paper. Add a rectangular mask to the background, change the background color to something you like and adjust it to fit your text. Right now, we can't see anything because I forgot to change the apply mode in the merge note, so let's do that first. Adjust the mask and if it looks a bit off, go to the merge note of the crumpling effect and tweak the gain and blend until it looks right. Now it should look something like this and next we are going to animate it. To the last merge node, add an image plane 3D, a merge 3D, a camera 3D and a render 3D node. To animate the highlighter, duplicate the rectangular mask, select the first one, change the paint mode to multiply and set some keyframes for its movement. Now let's animate the camera movement. In the transform settings of the camera node, set some keyframes for the translation and rotation of the camera at the beginning and end of your animation. Adjust the camera positions as needed. Don't forget to smooth your splines and that's it.